Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have something a little different. This is a Goodwill Blue Box mystery box. I have purchased two of these in the past. It's been a long time. Like one of my very first videos with Molly, I did the 1999 plush, like oh, stuffed animals, animal yeah. box. That was like before Christmas. That was a good one. It was cute, yes. And I definitely recouped my money on that box and just had a little bit of fun with her. And then once I purchased the 10 for $10 box, and that was a great box. I kept a couple pieces for myself. Actually, on our date night, the other night, I wore a dress from that box. Oh. Um, so, so the Cooper's top. Yeah. That dinner. Yeah. Cool. So it, it's, I don't know. Uh, it's, I think it's definitely grown in popularity since then. When I purchased those two boxes, it was like I just randomly went on the website a normal day of the week, bought the boxes, but now they're always sold out except for Friday nights at 6 p.m. They go live. And if you don't get them on Friday nights, you're out of luck. Yeah, you literally have to be on the website when they restock and get it or it's gone. So Friday nights were Fridays. on Fridays at okay. six o'clock. That's kind of the middle of our dinner, doing something, yeah, rainy, I don't know. Fridays were busy. Yeah. So this has been about three weeks now because time was flying. Our kids had to meet We've the teacher on today. Three weeks? Yes, it's just been sitting in here. Maybe two weeks. I don't know. Like literally a day. All of a sudden I look up and it's five days later. So maybe it was two weeks ago. I'm not sure. But this was the shoebox. Um, maybe on my invoice. The shipping date. So anyway, I didn't even do an intro. I just assume right now if you're watching this video, you know you've who watched we are. my videos in the past. Yes. If you don't, whatever. Now you do. I'm so, Amanda. This is Michael, part-time reseller. This dude told me a couple years ago, uh, how about you find a hobby besides working all the time? Um, I do work from home. We own a from home business. And that's not, that's not exactly how it was now. I feel like it's funnier than that. Oh, okay. You had a hobby. It Spending was money. Collecting Ray Dunn. Or many Melissa's. Yeah. And I was like, hey, why don't we get into a hobby that earns money? Right. So I had paid my way through college on Same. eBay and um, sometimes I got good. Yes. Um, good so I started kind of selling my kids stuff on Kitizen and then buying stuff to sell on Kitizen and grew from there. And now we sell a lot on Poshmark and Mercari and yeah, the rest right. is history. So we have a lot of fun and it's fun to do something that we love. Oh, like yeah. see your date. Um, yes. I purchased this on July 16th. So three weeks. Almost and then it took like a week to get here. So you have to count from the day it got here. So it's been about two weeks. So two then. Okay. okay. So, so that's been sitting long there. story short, Wrong this minute. is the Goodwill Blue Box five pair repurposed shoe box. So to me, it was kind of like buying the thread up box, but it was only five pairs, $29.99 for five pairs, plus $5 shipping, plus $2.28 in tax. So I did pay $37.27 for this box, which made it, $7.45 per shoe, which is kind of on the high side, especially when we go to places like the bin. The bin yeah. However, or even our goodwill. Yeah. One some child, but these are adult okay. shoes. These are adult. Okay. Yeah. Adult. But lately our goodwills, we are in Orlando in this area. I would say I used to get shoes for $5.99 was kind of the average price, but they have overnight the last 30 days gone up to about $16.99 for what they consider the better brands up to $25.99. Like they're proud of their shoes right now. So the they know we're flipping them. They figured it all out. of the Goodwills. I mean, yes, I it so. is a good deal. If you're just I walking. mean, our bins we just went to was a wash for shoes. They didn't even have anything. Yeah. Because we couldn't look at them because they were hoarding them at the moment. We were there for three hours and I couldn't even touch the shoes. Yeah. Cause they hours. were working on them. I don't know. So anyway, um, $7.45. Yes. It's a little high. But considering our prices are really going up where we are right now, as long as there's Even something good price, in here, there yeah. should still be so, some wiggle room. I have not looked in this box other than opening it because I knew that you guys love this I'm guy. What this is okay. Well, let's start with what's on top. Or what's though. on top? Here we go. All right, let's see. Okay, I got a keen sole. Keen, that's a and good, it's a completely keen, but shirt. it looks it's very tiny. Shirt. It is a US 5. Okay, so. Size five, I have learned, like so, my son is 10 and all of his friends are like in a size five. That's so, a small woman's foot. Or a, or a kid. young kid. Yeah. yeah. But these are, these are nice. But they're in good shape. I mean, the sole is fantastic on them. And we're coming into fall. 
in most places. I don't like, know a lot here. of what I'm talking about, but I'm just saying there's no wear. Like, yeah. Yeah, they look brand new, actually. Those, those are solid. Yeah. These are great stout shoes. Our son is actually in a four, but our kids are always on the younger or the smaller side for their age group. But these are a solid our scout. I say scout. Boy scouts, Cub Scouts. This dude is the pack master for Cub Scouts, so we're always looking for some good camping outdoor shoes. But yeah, they're, I mean, these are waterproof. They are waterproof. So it has the King Dry logo yes. on there. So considering we paid thirty-seven dollars for this box, I think that that pair might pay for this box. If yeah. you sell them, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll list them on the high side because Keegan just moved into a size four, size. so we're looking for a year out. I'll find another pair before then. So. Nice boots. Sir. Um, about these, you were uh, excited. Well, just the color caught yeah. my eye, but they are a Converse knockoff. Like I see no. Wah, wah. No, no brand. Name. No, no brand. brand. Just. Also, let's see, no, I saw a five at first, but that was the UK size. It's US size seven. So women's size seven, some knockoff Converse. They're cute, but they won't, they won't garnish much. No, and they're heavy, so. which means they'll cost at least a priority flat rate, 855 to ship. So Bummer. yeah, mm. not, oh, well. not a winner. All right. All right. Moving along. And these already, just looking at them, look like a Another knockoff Converse. Let's see. Oh, but it's Guess. So, I mean, I don't know how well that does. They're I think, cute. I think when I was a kid, I probably thought that was an expensive brand. But nowadays, right, right it's just kind of Yeah. Average. They're cute. They're very sparkly. They are right. a... Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Men's. It has an M after, right? Medium. Like, I oh, don't know. Oh, you mean width? You think it means medium? Just, just a seven and a half. Women's. Yes. Let's just go seven and a half. So, kind of cute. Yeah, won't go for much. Okay. I've never got this box before, so, so it definitely yoker. it smells like a smoker in my box. Okay, oh, well, look at these, though. These came, they're heavy. This came with, like, a... Well, it's heavy because it comes with... With the shoehorn. The shoe spacers inside. Are yeah. The, these are giant, The shape right? of it. And that's all the weight right there. That's solid wood. Oh. Okay, so maybe... So that says Hanover. Stacy Adams. These things are hand. Oh, gosh. I'm saying that's heavy. It's metal. And Hanover water. brand. You need some new shoehorns for any? I have one pair of dress shoes that I never wear, and they have them in there. These oh. are not shoehorns. Oh. A shoehorn is what that plastic Oh, that's how you put it on and off? Yeah. So what's this called? The, the official name is escaping me. But Shoe former. Yeah, it, it holds the shape. Okay, so yes. The toe box. And Stacy Adams. Are those worth anything? But these are expensive. Hold on. I just need to go back to these because, look, they're adjustable. You can actually change for the size of the shoe you're in. Like Is that what smells? I don't know. Something just smells like old. <laughs> okay, so these, think something has been shoved inside of the shoe. I know. Well. We're gross. Okay, these are a size men's 13, these Stacy Adams shoes. But they look brand new, like maybe worn mm -hmm. once indoors, if but they definitely look new. So Yeah. They were bought for like an event, like a they wedding, were worn, and then never. Yeah, someone wore that as a groomsman. So they again. Were like, nope, never. All right, one pair left. Man, this was less than well-made. This would this would be an underwhelming. I was underwhelmed. It was only five pairs, so these are some mm. solid dad shoes. Not even. Not you. You're a cool dad. My dad. Uh, but I'm not shoes. a cool dad, and I still wouldn't wear these. These are only a men's eight and a half. Hunter's Bay. You know what that sounds like? A fan company. Hunter's Bay? A fan, like a ceiling fan? <laughs> what? Hampton Bay. Okay. They make fans. But these also do look very much unused. Size eight and a half. They are a leather upper, so that's nice. A dad shoe. With a dad feet, shoe. Because I'm pretty average. But I feel like I, I could sell, I can definitely now. recoup my $7 on these. I mean, somebody will want a pair of genuine leather. Something really does reek like smoke now. Like, I, mean, I just want to throw this whole box. Out. It could be the box itself. God. But I don't, I don't think our mail person, nothing ever smells like, yeah, but something smells bad. Like it's, it's an ashtray now inside here <laughs> in my house. Okay, so. Today is Friday again when we're filming this, and I happen to be home, and I happen to be like, babe, it's 5.55 on a Friday night, and none of the boxes ever said anything besides restocking at 6 p.m. Hold up. Wait, say not Friday. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought it was Friday all afternoon. I did not put two and two together earlier when you were on the computer. Yeah, I was like refreshing. I'm like, Today nothing. Today is not Friday. 
This is what happens when you have been working from home and it's summer. I literally thought it was Friday. I'm like, babe, I'm refreshing and nothing. Is going. Welcome to my life. Okay. Well, neither one of us knew it wasn't Friday. So no, I anyway. knew. I just, that's why I just, I knew. I just wasn't paying attention to you earlier when you were like saying, hey, like, these shoe boxes drop on Friday. I'm going to get one. And I was like, cool. Okay. But I didn't think that you were like actually refreshing and trying to get one right and tomorrow's now. Friday and we will not. Please take a away the cigarette shoes from me. <laughs> these, are, these are horrible. It's them. Is it? That, that was the last one you took oh, out really and now I'm smelling yeah. it. Get those away. So yeah, these I'm going to stick in a freezer. Or deep we're going to throw them away. No, if you put them in the freezer, that's how you get rid of smoke smell. I don't know. I read or it. the trash can. Anyway, sure tomorrow smart. I won't be able to get a new box, but I don't know if I would anyway, because I don't know, like seven forty-five a pair, cool. Like you know, we got those. Right. Who wants shoes. to buy a pair of Keen boots? Yes, um, these. Are, this is the, that's what's gonna. I'm not gonna sell these with the things in there. Those are so. I wonder if I, could, I can sell those individually. Oh my gosh, those are heavy. These, I don't know. I have been. I'm getting ready to send a giant box into thread up, and surprisingly, I have actually made some yeah, pretty great, like in, great sell sales. Well, these came, this came from Goodwill, not thread up, but right. But I'm saying in the thread maybe box. guests will sell on thread up. I don't know. These will not. These, yeah. Unfortunately, these won't. No. So the keen shoes are my only hope to recoup my thirty-seven dollars and make a profit. But so. these boxes are great. You should get one. I'm not an affiliate and I'm not making any money at all to share this video. But so, right now because I said get it's one. goodwill. You should get one. No. So <laughs> look, I've seen some great unboxings. Um, these shoe boxes. I honestly I thought that this box, I thought they were all gonna be sneakers. I don't know why I thought that. That's just what I thought. We need to still think kids stuff. Yeah, I do like we're selling kids there. stuff. We are, we're better at it. I make a we're good profit. There. I know well, some people don't like selling kids it's stuff, but like, oh my gosh, like I just made I just made a sale on some kids' bogs. I made forty five dollars. Like I package this stuff every morning. It's always kids' shoes. It is. So you win some, you lose some. This box was not a total loss. Like I said, I think we'll we will profit selling this one pair of shoes. And even if we kept them, these are they're probably $70, $80 shoes, these Keens and the rest of them. I'm sure. sure those cost, you know, we definitely got more than our, our value if we would wear them, but. Yeah, but it's just not things we would have ever No, um, I will say I have purchased that 10 items for $10 box. My friend Danny over at Danny B's Closet. Check her out. She's great. I love her videos. Um, she, Are we affiliates to Danny B? No, but I just like her and I want her to hurry up and get monetized and all of that. So I'm going to send my friends to her. Go, go get it, Danny. She's very sweet. Yes. Um, she, she got a box of 10 for 10 recently and got like 15 items or something and they were great. So That'd be sweet. yeah. Um, so on Fridays, not today, not which Thursdays. Is Thursday. <laughs> I Thursday. really, in, case you were wondering, in my head was difference. like, Oh man, someone's fired. They forgot to click the go button You're at 6 one on, you know, I'm like refreshing. <laughs> like why are none of these boxes? Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, but on we Tuesday, each our other. kids start school, so I'll be back to maybe getting some of my brain back. So, okay, back well, thank you for watching. It is now what August um, 5th, August and I 5th. still have not done any what solds for July, even though every month I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll do it weekly, and it still hasn't happened. It is a goal for August to me, maybe it's not get, why people come to your channel. It's not because I'm a hot mess and they come to know that they are not they alone come for this entertainment. And I'm going to go finish the bottle of wine I opened two hours ago because that's how we roll around here. And it's 9 30 and my kids are not even in bed and I don't know what's happening. So <laughs> for this last week of summer. Yes. Then we will know. Yes. Okay, guys. Fist, Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Thank you so Bye. much for giving this a like on your way out. Bye. Yes. Love you. Bye. Bye. We love you. All the love. We will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.